Hey, what's up, guys? We're Lexper back here, and today, you know, I have to play my favorite deck in the new season. I've played a little bit of this deck today, just around. Where is it? I have it in my notebook. Because again, when I play mobile, I can't fucking keep track of it normally. Um, a little bit over 19 and 14 with the deck today. Which is actually not even that great of a win rate, if I'm being honest. Um, I did, to be fair, lose four games in a row on turn five to Pirate Rogue. Those ones I actually did on my, my PC because I did them when I got home from school. But um, yeah, we're, we're playing some Marino, Freeze, Shutterwalk, Murloc, Common. Deck is so much fucking fun. I quite literally did not even notice the time pass when I was playing this deck. Like quite literally at one point I was playing the deck, next thing I looked up, my my teacher had filled up the entire board with shit I had to write down, and I looked at the time, and it's been 45 minutes, so I'm like, what the fuck happened, you know? So it's, it's a really, really fun deck. Um, I, I'm playing some unusual cards that you might not see that often. Uh, Maelstrom Portal is, honestly, this card has come in clutch so fucking much, it's actually insane. Like, the, put it this way, if a rogue goes second, right? You go nothing on one, and then they go, say, 3-1 patches, and you slam a Maelstrom Portal, you are so fucking far ahead. You took one damage, and you answered four power worth of shit, and typically they have a pretty weak turn too, but they'll just hero power to kill your your uh, minion you get. But then if you high roll and you get like a 1-2, you're so actually astronomically ahead, it's insane. Uh, other cards that have been uh, MVP, at least for me... Actually, I'll talk a little bit more about the other cards that's been uh, MVP in the first game. So, yeah, anyways, with that being said, let's uh, let's just queue it up and let's uh, let's see how things go. Alright, guys? So, yeah, I'll see y'all there. Alright. Back to facing... My w oh! Oh, shit! We actually drew the fucking crawler. Let's go! Uh, actually, we keep that every single time. Uh, this hand is actually pretty nuts. Um, yeah, okay, let's keep it like this. Oh, Lightning Bloom is so good. Also, this matchup is actually fucking insane. This hand is dirty. This win rate, uh, by the way, also encompasses uh, other games that we played like uh, a couple days ago. So, yeah. Uh, I actually. Hold up, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure these are games that we played a couple days ago. I don't remember playing... What does it count as one day ago? Oh, uh, one day ago I think it counts as a choose there. Oh, well. I guess we get to see the power level of Maelstrom Portal here. Uh, being a very fair and balanced Hearthstone card. See, like, here, he's gonna probably hero power and kill this, but, like, already then, he has a 2-1, we have nothing, but we've taken 3 damage now. Oh my god, and we get... If he doesn't do this trade, we're omega far ahead. I was about to say, we're so far ahead because we just crawler, uh, this guy. We'll play this, we'll gain some health, we have a trade there. Yes, he has a weapon, but we can call Viper, we can draw Viper, we can draw Zephyrus. Like, we have a, we have a couple, actually, fairly decent draws from this position. If he wants to keep this alive, he has to do this trade. Oh, he thought he was safe. He thought he was safe, but we have the crawler. Let's go. This is actually one of my better starts I've had. It, it sucks that we're like off mana wise. Uh, by that, I mean like we've been floating one mana each turn, which kind of sucks. But sometimes you have to accept it in order to be further ahead in the game state. Uh, right now, what we're looking for is ice fishing. Potentially draw Toxfin and Fireman's or Flurg, which are they're pretty insane in this matchup. I'll be honest. Let's see. Like again, this is another awkward position where we can't build a card I want to play, which is Primal Engineer, because this card is way too fucking scary, especially as a five three. Can we? No, we can't innervate it out. Sadly. Oh, this Tauntome's actually huge. I mean, it saves two health, but it's still, like, really, really good. Um, now we're looking for Zephyrus. We're looking for Reno. We're looking for... Um... Cavern is not the worst, but we're mostly looking for the other cards. Okay, we're looking for Zephyrus or Viper. Those are, like, our best two cards on our deck. 
That card is kind of shit here. Again, super awkward that we have to float mana. I hate hero powering as shaman. It's one of the worst things you can do in my opinion. Now, now we desperately need Reno. To be fair, this hand's also insane with Reno, if I'm being honest. As soon as we hit Reno, I think we win the game. We wipe his board here. The only card we're dead to, I think, is... I also hate the fact that this thing can't fucking freeze face. It's actually obnoxious. I'm gonna go with this first. Um... Oh my fucking god. I just have to overload basically all of my fucking mana. Alright, so I don't play the turn game next turn, basically. I have to do this play because I'm s way too close to dead. My top deck is awful for me. Secret Passage is awful for me. Draw 2 is awful for me. Like, I need to just hope he draws, like, back-to-back -back pirates here. Because I'm able to answer pirates with this board fairly easily. Any of the things that I draw is, like, oh, that was also really bad, but it's, like, an easy answer, you know? So, I mean, it could be worse... So, if I survive this turn, I win the game. Haunt? That was the worst totem to hit. Yeah, if I survive here, he has one draw. He has one draw. His exact lethal card is... He actually has a couple lethal cards. Oh! We're, okay, we won the game. Beautiful. Beautiful. Easy game, easy clap. He's gonna get see when he sees the Reno. That's typically what they've been doing today. There's the ice fishing as well. There you go. As soon as he saw the Reno, it was a concede. Beautiful. First one of the day against possibly my least favorite class to play against. I'll take it. I'll take it. And as you can see, we were D3. A little bit up from yesterday where we were like bronze nine or something ridiculous like that. I played a couple games today. We, we ignore the fact that I might have an addiction to this deck. We add that one to, to, to the list of decks that we popped the fuck off on. All right, so with that being said, let's um, let's keep the next one. Okay, Paladin is um, the only Paladin I've faced today has been um, Mech, and Mech Paladin is not the worst matchup for us. It's really good with like if we draw Toxfin combo, I think it's like almost an auto win. Like that combo is absurdly powerful in that matchup, and against. Uh, Reno, it's a little bit more awkward, but the Highlander cards we play are really fucking good. This Crawler, though, it's... Crawler's one of those interesting cards where I think if you're playing a slower deck, it's, like, almost necessary in a deck right now. Because, so, no, like, remember how I, I played way too many fucking games of Hearthstone today. I'll, I'll, I'll be 100% honest. I played way too fucking many. Um, and, yeah, I... I think I faced probably like half were like aggro pirate decks. I did lose the two, like two of them that I wished I didn't lose to, which was one of them was, uh, what's the name? Pirate Warrior, which just had the most insane string of RNG I've ever seen. And you know, I, I complain about RNG all the fucking time. So it's like, oh, what's new? But um, put it this way. I was dead to exactly one sequence of cards and the sequence of cards was uh juggernaut triggers hit me two times in the face when i have a board of seven minions into getting anchor into drawing off the anchor might that was the only sequence of cards i lost to and i lost believe it or not uh when, okay it doesn't matter I drew already two of them, so this is only going to draw three, even though it casts twice. There. I think we won this game. From here, I th I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a dub. Between having Snowfall Guardian already in my hand, um, this combo in hand, this gets just huge. Whatever it eats, it just... It becomes a big boy, you know? Oh, it's like a mech variant. That's actually pretty dope. Um... I don't want to play this yet. I don't. Or I don't want to pull the combo off yet. This is actually kind of awkward. Because like this, just 
sadly doesn't trade into anything. I can do this. It forces trade trade. Let's see what we get here. Because if I hit Taunt Totem here, this is like, okay, this is absurdly good. Actually absurdly good. Um, I want to say Minions is probably going to be what he's going to play. And yeah. The thing is now also, like we're getting to a point where if he floods the board here, we win the game if we draw a Grumble. Because we can just loop this this and grumble basically draw or uh, freezing his entire board every single turn until like you know we freeze and then we slam this and we start eating his entire hand and then yeah by the way this card seems really bad in this deck i i saw people were like oh my god that card's gonna be nuts in this deck nah it's 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 bad trust um that's huge i don't like that one bit um all right let's go with this let's start with this let's see what we draw off of it Shardwalk is a very good card. Unironically. Nuts card. I kind of want to cycle another card, but I don't want to slam this. But I think it's the right play. Slam this, freeze that. Force him to kind of extend on the board. Because I don't want to just let him get like... Okay, Devolve is also nuts here. We basically have four board wipes currently in our hand. Five if you count Shardwalk. Like... We're in a position where I'd be, I would be, it'd be interesting to see the sequence of cards we lose to here. Um, okay, let's, let's just go with this one here. We actually have like insane trades here too. I don't want to hero power anymore. I want this to die actually, so yeah. I want him to flood the board. That's the big one. What the fuck? What else does have one attack? That is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Okay, well. Uh... Let's eat something out of his end. This is gonna seem weird, but this is 100. Yeah, this is 100% the right play. We eat the weapon here. Uh, eating the weapon here like means Cariel is just not scary at all. I mean, yes, her hero power is broken, right? It's gonna make his hand huge, but if I draw Grumble, I don't actually care. I want this to die though before I draw Grumble. His hand's already ginormous, so it doesn't really change shit for me. Why the fuck does she have one attack? All minions in your hand and deck, plus one, plus one. And a copy of a random card in your hand. I'd like to know why the fuck does Cariel have plus one attack? You have all battle cry minions in your- Is that a- Why does she have one attack? What am I missing here? Um, all right. I don't know what that achievement was for, but I'm kind of interested to see. I would still really like to know why the fuck does Carol have one attack? And is it gonna. Why the fuck does she have one attack? She's not a minion. This is not what Dredge did, and it would have had plus five, plus five. What on- does Cariel just now default have plus one attack? Because that is dumb, it should not actually be a thing. I genuinely don't understand why she has plus one attack. Am I- You guys are gonna have to tell me if I'm fucking missing something, because goddamn. I need to figure out what's the best sequence of it. I think it's this, this. Two, three. I guess it's just nine. Okay, well. Let me try this in first. I don't. Why can she go above 30 health? I'm so confused. She's not a minion, so this should not have triggered on her. 
This says give all Battlecry minions in your deck plus one plus one. Okay, whatever the fuck this is now is terrifying. This thing is a ginormous, wherever the fuck it is. I had to kill that brand because I have never been more terrified of a card in my life. Actually, no cap. That card freaked me the fuck out. Like, bro, plus 11 plus 11 from my guy. Plus 4 plus 4. Like, I don't fuck with that. Plus 3 plus 3 from spells, but... Genuinely don't know how the fuck Cariel got... She's not a minion. She's a portrait, so that shouldn't... If that works that way, that's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. If someone understands down below, please comment, but I have no idea what the- why the fuck was she able to go above 30 health, and why the fuck did she have one attack? Anyways though, with that being said, let's uh, let's see you up the next one. Ooh, a shaman. Is this gonna be the new flavor of the month? Uh, for those who don't know, the current flavor of the month is Big Shaman. That's a deck where I like- I wanna say I'm favored in, but it's- it's a rough matchup. I want to keep this whole hand, but it's super bad against both shamans. Because both shamans play a fair amount of like hand disruption. By hand disruption, I mean like Dirty Rat and Mutinous in Freeze. And then you'll have uh, Ancestral Call in Big. So it's it's a very it's very interesting. Also in these matchups, the cards the cards you want to see and the cards you don't want to see are kind of very similar. That first is a card I don't want to see genuinely in big uh, big shaman or free shaman matchups. Because yes, that first is an insane card and could definitely steal you wins. The problem I have with the card is it feels so weird, right? Because I slam Zephyrus, I kill something, sure. But now whenever I slam Shadow Walk, I get Zephyrus. And I don't want that. Because most of the time it's going to give, as you saw last game, Flame Imp. Flame Imp is really fucking bad in this deck, believe it or not. Dealing three damage to yourself is not ideal. Oh my god, it's bomb. Out of all decks, if I'm being honest, that was probably the single one I was the least expecting. Did he hit both? The fact that he actually hit both here is nuts to me. Can I draw Firemancer Flurk? That would be great. That's not Firemancer Flurk. I discovered this evolve into a four drop. So bad, but I feel like it's the play I have to do. I don't like this one bit. On average, this is removing damage. What the fuck? On average, I'm removing damage. Because I think on average, a four drop has three attack, if I'm not mistaken. But then I hit the biggest four drop in the game. And one that just didn't change in stats. And now I'm just dead next turn. Right. <laughs> I love this game, definitely. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. I guess I need to draw exactly Firemancer Flurg. Ice Fishing. Yeah, fine. Zola is not one of the cards I just mentioned. That's a decent one. I'm I'm dead here to like a bomb plus backstab. I mean I'm I'm actually dead here to a bomb, right? 7, 10, 14, no. He needs a backstab as well. It's 21. 22, 22. Or that into a bomb. He could have low rolled here, but he would have had the low roll both hits there. It's the only way I was able to survive. And then I was dead next turn anyways to the bomb, so didn't change anything if I conceded or not. Also, I saw that I died at the bottom corner, but um, did you go next? <laughs> All 
All right, a warlock. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. My guess is that it's probably either even or Reno. Those are the two most popular ones. And uh, I don't want any of those cards in those matchups. I don't want any of those match cards in... Um, I guess I would have wanted kind of the uh, one of them in aggro, but yeah, it's even. Okay, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this, really. The deck one doesn't have pirates, and two, what the fuck does Lightning Storm kill in that deck? Nothing, so don't want to see it. Uh, this ma this matchup's super draw dependent, uh, in my experience. You can do things to increase your RNG, or your 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 odds of winning, yes, but if they're the curve of turn three giant, turn four giant, turn five coin, uh, Wind Fury, I mean you're just dead. You don't actually have an answer to that sequence of draws. So, I'm going to play the best of my outs. Here, worst case scenario would be 8 6 5 4. 8 8. I mean, 8 8 is not good, but it's better than other options or better or other outcomes. I don't want to. I don't think I can race him, but I think for this turn, going face is correct. He can spend a card killing this. If he spends a card killing this, he's not killing me, which I like. Uh, I should have probably been scared of that outcome, but that demon come to mind. Okay, I'm going to counter a minion here. This is, again, forcing him to... It's forcing this trade here. Basically, any turn I can delay actually playing my real cards gets me one step closer to victory because we have way more late game than he does. Um, I know that sounds weird because his deck is full of like fucking 8 8s and whatnot, but if we get late enough in the game I and mean, we have Zephyrus, which kills a couple of 8 8s, that's what I figured. That's why I wanted to wait. Firemancer Flurg is. One of the best top decks, the best top deck in my deck here is Macaw, followed by Grumble. That's actually the best sequence of draws I can get. There's really bad options in my hand. Well, if I draw Fireman's or Flurg, now I'm sad. Oh. We're too good at the fucking game actually too good at this fucking game this card actually seemed insane i played against it earlier today card seemed broken i want to see about trying to put it in this deck but it's like so hard to find room oh yeah shoot i wanted to talk about cards that i felt were like weaker than others in this list uh cards that felt a little weak in my opinion um this uh wild paw cavern it was good in some matchups but like in like the really really slow control matchups it was insane right because i guess it just got to a point where it's like i'll just have my uh i don't what are these called my i'd have it create a three four and i wouldn't play oh i'm dead uh eight eight i forgot that it actually silences my shit. that's a little tilting but hey Ugh. Hmm. I have to go for this, right? Yeah, it's deal two, summon two threes. Just hope that's good enough. I forgot that they started playing that card. They started playing that card mostly to deal with this deck, if I'm being honest. At least of what I found, because... He was basically almost at a point where he just couldn't play the game, right? If I would have hit Grumble there without that card, he just lost. It would silence his board every single turn on repeat without fail and he just couldn't or sorry not silence but freeze his board every single turn on repeat and he just couldn't do anything he just ended up being in a position where you know gg type of shit okay he hit this again i guess he just didn't see this one because right now what i'm expecting is hit 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 if it's not that i'm a little bit more fucked basically if this doesn't hit here i'm a little bit more fucked but he has yet to play Okay. I mean, that's also not ideal, but I wish this would have been deal two. If this was deal two, I was absurdly far ahead. Like, actually absurdly far. Okay. 
Can't play this. Hmm. So, if I do this, that's a one, that's a that. Uh, I'm not dead. I died to second battlegrounds, and I mean, if he has it, he has it. That's prone the position I'm in, where if he has it, he has it. Do you have the second one? If he has it, I mean, I'm just going to concede, because there's nothing I can do. Oh, he... He just had both. Oh, well. Having the second one of this won him the game. What can you do? Um, could I have played that better if I was expecting the silence? No, I, I guess. Yeah, I could have traded with my snowfall. But like the problem is, like I was super banking on the fact that I was able to to lock him out there, which was really bad on my part. Yeah, there there was better I could have done. That 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 loss is kind of on me. Anyways, we have time for one more game, so hopefully we got a dub, so this way we don't drop to D5 again. Alright guys, yeah, I'll see y'all there. Well, so, now, okay, well, we have this, which is really nice. We have this, which is really nice. I don't, again, Wildpaw Cavern just feels like shit. The other card that felt like shit was Sleepbreaker. I hate the fact that Windchill can't freeze face. I feel like that's something small that they can do. And it would, I, in my opinion, it would make rogues feel a little bit less oppressive. Because right now, the, the, the deck feels insane. Okay. What the fuck is this? I mean... Sure. I'd rather eat that than eat those here. I'd rather have a 2-2 two, two instead of have a- or a 2-2 a two, two instead of a 2-1 two, weapon- or a 2-2 two, two weapon. Oh, let's slam the rat and see what this is. My guess is this is weapon. With a start like this, I just have to assume he has weapon and on curve. Which means I get to develop a free 2-6 taunt. Or is it Mr. Smart? That is arguably worse. Okay, I think I've lost this game. Uh, what the fuck is this? What is his sequence of draws? Actually, what the fuck? To be fair, I've been dealing with this all fucking day whenever I queue into a pirate rogue. Again, when I, I'm not joking when I said I lost five games in a row on turn five. I lost on that RNG. If I would have hit Toxin, I maybe still had a chance, but as this stands here, I'm dead. I'm dead on turn five. Quite literally dead on turn five, nothing I could have done. I mean, sure, I could not have played the Dirty Rat, but I was still dead on turn five anyways. So we just played it here. What the fuck is this deck? Even a taunt doesn't save me here. I'm exactly dead even with a taunt. I hate this game. Pirate Rogue is currently the most absurd fucking broken thing on the planet. Like, I don't actually know. What was I supposed to do there? Is that just a draw you just accept the fact you're dead when he has 7 power on turn 1? 7 power on turn 1, and I had yet to play the game. <laughs> like, I still had 0 mana crystals, and he had 7 power. Nothing I could have done. Quite literally, there is no counterplay to that. Oh, we can get a new portrait. Um, You know what? I actually kind of want the shaman one. I like the, the hunter one, but I want the shaman one. Acclaim shaman. Let's go. Now let's get a whole bunch of gold. And let's open some packs. So I can cure my depression with packs. Hopefully we open a legendary to fucking make up for whatever the fuck that last game was, like... I don't want Pirate Rogue to get nerfed, necessarily. I just want... 
I want other classes to get buffs, and I know Shaman shouldn't get a buff. I think Shaman's in a really, really good spot now. But... I'm sorry, what the fuck is 7 power on turn 1? And I, th I genuinely think the problem for Rogue is not their weapon as well. I do think it's the Parachute Brigade. Parachute Brigade feels like a mistake of a card. As funny as that sounds to hear, but Parachute Brigade is not okay. Zero mana 2-2. Two, two. I mean, people were complaining about patches, which was a zero mana 1-1. One, one. And they're like, yeah, fuck it, let's print a zero mana 2-2. Two, two. You just have to play a one mana minion and get it with your patches. I'm gonna open another pack because I thought I had 600 gold, but I have 700. I'm gonna open another pack, but yeah. Again, I don't want to see it necessarily get nerfed. I just want... I want to see other things get buffed. I think Paladin needs a buff. I think Warrior needs a buff. Basically, most classes in the game right now actually need a buff, like a big buff. There's like four playable classes, in my opinion. Again, if I look at the games I've played recently, I've faced... So on my computer right now, I've faced one, two... Th I'll, I'll just show you, actually. Uh, that is not what I want to bring over. That is the music. Okay. So... The ones we'll look at are the games from an hour ago. Like, basically starting here. The ones that are from two days. So, in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games, we faced 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 rogues. 8 rogues in 13 games that are... There's one of them that was on a different deck. One of these rogues was on bomb... That means out of 13 games, over 50% of them were on Pirate Rogue. That, that should tell you the position that Pirate Rogue is currently in. It was actually funny. Today I read a story of someone on Reddit that was like, uh, I'm Heartstuck D1 playing Pirate Rogue. Is there something wrong with the deck? Is the deck bad? Look, no, the deck is... <laughs> the deck is the most broken shit. He was complaining about bad matchups. <laughs> like... I don't even know what Pirate Rogue considers a bad matchup. Like, actually, I don't know what they consider a bad matchup. The bad matchup is your deck not giving you Swordfish. It's funny, the games where you don't have Swordfish, I think your win rate goes down like 50%. It's ridiculous. Anyways, um, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if you guys heard people walking upstairs. I don't know why my floor upstairs creaks so fucking much, but it does. But yeah, anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one. Alright guys, peace.